All right, this is uh, the 24th video of uh, this 40 foot landing craft build. So, uh, got the boat all cleaned up down underneath the floorboard and laid down this plywood. Uh, it's it's uh, three quarter inch plywood. And uh, it turned out really nice. I got uh, basically pretty much down the center of the boat. There's about four of these center pieces that are not screwed down. That way I can get to some things underneath the floor. So in this first section right here, I got to get to a bilge pump and then uh, uh, where this plywood laps right here, that's the first uh, bulkhead. So there's going to be a bilge pump in here on this side of the bulkhead, be a bilge pump on that side of the bulkhead. You know, if I was able to uh, do what I wanted to and put metal down on this whole front deck, I wouldn't have necessarily needed bilge pumps in these spaces. This whole front deck is about 11 feet by 14 feet to the cabin. It was, I had planned on putting metal down and welding it all the way and have scuppers, you know, on the, the side where the water would just run out. So, uh, since that's not the case, I didn't have the metal to do that. Definitely going to have to put bilge pumps in here because all that rainwater is going to go down into these two compartments and, uh, could be a problem. So yeah, it, uh, you know, this sheet, this sheet, that sheet, and that sheet, and there's a little corner piece there and over here. Those are all screwed down permanent, but these two sheets in the middle are not. That way I can get in there, and uh, that is why it may look like it's sticking up a little bit, but uh, pretty happy with it. The cut and fit went real well. Uh, you know, a little bit of gaps on the sides. Uh, uh, you know, a quarter inch to half inch in some places. Uh, can't do a whole lot about that. The side of the boat is curved right in that area. And, you know, this is kind of temporary, so I didn't worry about getting a, you know, super tight fit like I would if it was metal. If I would have welded metal there, yeah, that would have had to have been a perfect fit. So, pretty happy with it. Uh, let's go in here. Uh, same thing in here. Uh, a lot of these pieces I have not screwed down all the way yet. Like uh, this piece will come out because the water tank's underneath there. That piece will come out because the septic tank is under there. Those are both 100 gallon tanks. And, uh, you know, I have a, a piece here that I want to have hinged it's uh you know it's only about 18 inches wide or so but that way i can get to all of this storage down under here you know under this floor i can that piece is going to be hinged and that full piece back there will probably be hinged there's lots of storage underneath there and underneath this fireplace and even over here where the bed slash couch is going to be you know, there's uh, storage under there I want to get to. So I have tons of storage underneath this floor that I want to use. And uh, uh, I think I used uh, 15 sheets of plywood and that's some of the drops there. And I'll probably make shelves and things like that out of that, out of those pieces. And, uh, so you can see this piece is only about 18 inches wide too. I went ahead and cut it. I don't have the hinges and things like that for it right now, so ain't too big a deal. Uh, turn around, we'll look to the front here. This, you know, right over here in that corner, about eight feet long is gonna be the bathroom. It's, uh, let me back up here. It's gonna be like three feet wide. There'll be a toilet and a tub in there. There'll be no sink in there. And it starts from right there and goes over, that's three feet, and then comes all the way to uh, right there, the tub stops. So that wall will come out three feet. And that's gonna be the only wall inside here uh, where that's actually boxed in. 
And then from, from there over there is gonna be that uh, piece of kitchen countertop that I have. And the sink will go in the middle there. And uh, um, we'll get to that stuff in a while. Really, all I really wanted to do uh, with this plywood is I just wanted to get this stuff laid down and then I got to move back to uh, a few welding projects that I have. So uh, what's next is uh, gonna be this landing craft door out here. I need to uh, go ahead and finish this thing. There's just a little bit of welding to do on it. I have two Harbor Freight winches right here. Uh, one's a 5,000 pound winch and the other's a 2,500. This 5,000 pound winch is gonna be hooked up to the landing craft door. This 2,500, uh, there's gonna be a crane basically right there where that sits. And uh, kind of like a truck hoist crane you know, it'll be up and it kind of booms over and it'll it'll be able to swing 360 and rotate over the side of the boat to pick things up off the dock and then swing it back over and set it on here for uh, cargo and things like that. So that's that that 2,500 pound winch will be awesome for that because a lot of the things I'll be picking up and, you know, eventually with this cargo business will be like maybe a drum of fuel and that weighs like 600 pounds. So that 2,500 pound winch is gonna be really nice. And the 5,000 pound winch, you're probably saying that's a lot more than you need for that front door. But what I have planned with that one is, um, I'm building an 18 foot dinghy also that will fit between these two boxes here uh, really easily. It's only gonna you know be about a seven foot beam on that boat by 18 foot long so pretend this boat's sitting in the water you're in your dinghy you lower that landing craft door and you kind of pull your dinghy nose in right here i'll have some rollers or something that i can kind of go ahead and pull it up a little bit then there'll be a, a center post right here that will tie onto the bow eyelet on that dinghy and this post will rotate and come up towards me just like my hand just did. And uh, at the same time, that front door will be coming up. So it's a way to load my, my dinghy, my 18 foot long boat onto this landing craft and not have to pay a second slip fee wherever I go. And I'll have a 40 horse on that. And I got the 40 horse over here. Uh, so I just pay for an extra foot or two of length on this boat and not have a second slip fee. Plus the 18 foot long boat is gonna be narrow enough where you know I can still walk by like right here. This is not gonna, it's not gonna be so, so much in the way that I can't actually still kind of move around on this front deck. So really cool idea. I thought about that a long, long time ago and just now kind of getting to where I need to uh, make it happen. So that's what the 5,000 pound winch is for. So uh, just got a little bit of work to do with this door. Uh, got uh, to hook up the winch and uh, uh, make it work. So uh, hopefully it won't take but a couple days to do that. And then uh, let's see. Uh, as soon as we get this front door done, we're gonna put this boat back on the trailer. So get this thing back on the trailer and then I can make that motor shelf that goes on the back of the boat on the outside of that cabin there. Be a, a motor shelf that the outboard motors will basically hang off of. Um, and uh, that needs to be done. So that's what this sheet is for right here. I have a quarter inch sheet right here that's uh, five feet wide by 20 feet long. And that quarter inch sheet will completely make up that motor shelf in the back. And there's the dinghy. It's already pre-cut. It's gonna be eighth inch thick, the whole boat, except the transom. It's gonna be three, three sixteenths, just, just because I have a piece of three sixteenths for it and I don't have any more eighth inch. So uh, that's, that's what's next in the lineup here. A uh, couple welding projects and uh, 
Uh, so landing craft door, maybe put the boat back on the trailer, do the motor shelf in the back. And then one of the last few last projects is going to be making this crane. I have some uh, two by two steel over here and I will isolate that with the with the rubber pad, you know, where it sits on this box over here. That way there's no electrolysis. Uh, so that's where we're at. Uh, just a quick video today. All right. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.